think we might need to upgrade our equipment. <laughs> Hey Firestarters, so today we are with my buddy Chris Massey and his brother Peter. You've probably seen Peter a long time ago. Right, you think that was far, far away. But they're brothers. So what we're gonna do today is, we're, is I'm gonna try the food that you suggested on my Facebook page. So let's see what you guys suggested. get into detail what I'm going to buy, I wanted to first show you guys this market and just walk around. It's a Filipino market here in California that is pretty awesome. So let's go check it out. I'll, I'll join you on a Snoky. Uh, shredded, shredded squid, anyone? No? No, it's just, no. Okay. There you go, shrimp, shrimp chips, chips baked. <laughs> shrimp crackers. I mean, if you like shrimp, you're you're in luck. But I actually really like this company. Bomb. We're gonna look at Facebook right now, and we're gonna see what people say. Wait first, what? Tempura. Oh, there you go, tempura. Shrimp flavored snacks. Should I try that? I don't know, you guys tell me. If you guys want me to try anything here that you guys see in the video, comment below and I will come back and I will try it. This is my buddy right here, we just met. He's gonna give me free discount, free food every day, right? No? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, sure. okay, sure. <laughs> First we're gonna try samples. So we got some samples right here. What is this right here? Uh, in the Indonesian noodles. Instant noodles. Let's try it. Yeah. Really good. Spilling all over the place. You have lost your noodles. <laughs> We're causing a muck. Everybody on the video? Oh my god. <laughs> so she just told me that something I didn't know is that this purple, this yam is a purple yam. That's ube, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, when you cook this one, it turns purple. Wow, okay, that makes so sense. I was trying to look for something purple. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. There's a guy with a camera following me. What's going on, man? <laughs> one thing that we know <laughs> that is really great to try is these. I tried this and a bunch of other snacks before in other videos, so if you haven't seen it yet, check it out in this link up above, all right? All right, so we are we finally purchased everything. This is all the stuff we got. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take it to Chris and Peter's house, and we will eat it for your enjoyment, if that's what you're into. <laughs> all right, so we're here, and we are going to try out some of this food. Boy, that hurts. Don't stick your finger in that. It is very sharp. What we heard is this is very stinky when you cut it open. It's very sharp too, so be careful. We will watch as Peter and Chris perform this operation. And he makes the first incision. Go after Peter. We might need to upgrade our equipment. Let's try. 
now. <laughs> I'm usually an optimist about most things. This time, I'm not. I'm sorry, everybody that likes this. Maybe I'm missing out on the right way to cook it or eat it or prepare it. Maybe we shouldn't have used a chainsaw. I don't know, but not my favorite. Let's just say that. It was not to our liking, um, very smelly. So sophisticated taste is what uh, somebody said. Yeah, his mom. <laughs> so first, let's just jump right in here. Sweet corn. Oh, there you go. I like cheese puffs. Yeah, they look like cheese puffs, you see? It's pretty good. Like I said, I could eat a bag of these. It reminds me of um of like um like a cereal. Corn pops. Oh yeah. Yes. Like that corn would be pops. It. Yes. Psst. Corn pops. To compare. So let's see if this tastes the same. Oh, way sweeter. Like candy. And kids eat this for breakfast. Either way, thanks, Peter. Okay, so we'll do this next. It's crispy squid, hot and spicy. Just in case it's a little too spicy for us, we got a drink to keep our mouths nice and chilled. Mugo Mugo? Mugo Mugo. For those who love the spicy life, but probably can't take it. <laughs> Mugo Mugo. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Let's uh, show the audience what it looks like. Oh, I can smell it already. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh it's just harder than I thought. Oh, that. You just sit on the mama. This guy, this actually not that bad. I disagree. <laughs> it's I mean, so weird. It tastes like really, really, really tough turkey. Okay, I don't know what he said, <laughs> but he's lying. I'm still chewing on my piece. Uh, How spicy is it? It's not, not spicy at all. But it's the spicy different. meter, if this was like a 10, it's down to here. Super low. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was refreshing though. This is good though. This is great. Time. <laughs> Big time. A one for you. And a one for me. <laughs> ready? Wait, wait, we gotta do it at the same time. Okay, ready? See if we can catch it at the same time. Ready? One. Two. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. Um, you can taste the mango. Yeah. Sugary. Kind of tastes more like a fruit roll-up than anything, or like a fruit snack. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. More, more fruity. than a candy. More fruity than a fruit snack. Mm -hmm. But good. Softer. You can taste the banana. You can taste the mango. It's good. More of a candy. Peter. Okay, so we have ube. Ube. Chewy milk candy. It's a little wrapper. You gotta unwrap it. Boom, it's like a little square. Not very flavorful. It's actually very blah. There really isn't much of a flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, all right. it's not bad. Mm. The last one Moby Chocolate Crunch. Ah! Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. It's not popping! <laughs> it's so strong. I'm so weak. There's like so much air in this thing. Oh. Yeah, Ooh, you yes. can smell the chocolate right when you open that bag. Woohoo! The powder. Sorry, we have it. Here we go. Whoops. Yes. Oh, these are good. Yes! Here. Yeah. That's good. It tastes like a, uh, like a cereal we would have out here. I know, you're probably like, dang, Americans eat a lot of sugary cereal. Yes. Yes, yes we, we do. do. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a, like Cocoa Puffs or something, yeah. kind of like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Re oh, really similar to Cocoa Puffs. Except better. I think it's got a better taste to it, though. So we have also Star. 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 <laughs> Apples or apple stars. I don't know. One of those two. We're gonna cut these up and we're gonna eat these. All right. All right. Like one apple for you. That we, we is need. all we need. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Man, Peter's the biggest guy on this project. Does it feel really sorry? 
Uh, it does. It feels like a star. Oh, Ooh, you can see it's got oh, a little star. Oh, that's why. It's got a little star shape on it. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. So that's probably why it's got the name. So I'm gonna eat this, try it out. I think because it's frozen, I, I don't get much of a taste to it. There's not much taste. It tastes very watery. It's maybe because a lot of people comment that Americans' taste buds are different because of what we have in our food. Or maybe nice. maybe our taste buds are a little bit different from everybody else, <laughs> but it's not bad. Just different, I guess. Please let us know if there's something else that we did not try. Well, I'll, I'll try it myself. Maybe Chris will try it. Chris is from Texas, so maybe he'll try it over in Texas. So make sure to also check out his channel, M4C Media. So thanks for watching. And remember, spark a heart change your life. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Now we're going to try Chewy Ube ice cream. That's backwards. That's backwards. <laughs>